Ever wondered how antidepressants work in our brain to combat depression? Well, these medications work by altering the levels of neurotransmitters, those tiny little messengers in our brain, to improve our mood and emotional state. Antidepressants come in different classes, each with their unique way of battling the blues. They primarily target serotonin, often termed the feel-good chemical, whose low levels are commonly linked with depression. These medications are pivotal in the battle against depression, a condition that affects millions worldwide. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, are the most prescribed antidepressants. These medications work by blocking the reabsorption of serotonin in the brain. This process, known as reuptake, can often leave less serotonin available to transmit messages between neurons. By preventing serotonin reuptake, SSRIs ensure that more of this feel-good chemical is available, thereby enhancing mood and alleviating symptoms of depression. Now, let's transition to another class of antidepressants, serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, or SNRIs. These work in a similar way to SSRIs, but they also target another neurotransmitter, norepinephrine. Norepinephrine is associated with mood and concentration, so by boosting levels of both serotonin and norepinephrine, SNRIs can help mitigate the symptoms of severe depression and anxiety disorders. In essence, these antidepressants work by increasing the availability of key neurotransmitters in the brain. By increasing these neurotransmitters, SSRIs and SNRIs help improve transmission of messages between neurons and enhance mood. Tricyclic antidepressants, an older class, also play a role in treating depression. They function by blocking the reabsorption of two key neurotransmitters, serotonin and norepinephrine. But what sets them apart is their broader impact. They also affect other neurotransmitters in the brain, creating a wider chemical alteration. This means they can potentially be more potent in tackling depression. Now, let's shift gears to monoamine oxidase inhibitors, commonly known as MAOIs. These are another older group of antidepressants. They work in a unique way, by blocking the activity of an enzyme called monoamine oxidase. This enzyme's job is to break down neurotransmitters like serotonin. When its activity is inhibited, more serotonin and other neurotransmitters are available in the brain. This results in enhanced mood and emotional responses. While these older classes of antidepressants can be more potent, they also carry a higher risk of side effects. It's important to remember that the effectiveness of antidepressants varies among individuals. Factors like specific mental health conditions, other medications, and unique body chemistry can influence the efficacy of these drugs and the side effects experienced. Let's briefly touch on noradrenergic and specific serotonergic antidepressants, or NASAs, such as mirtazapine. They work by increasing norepinephrine and serotonin levels while blocking certain serotonin receptors to reduce depression symptoms. Understanding how these drugs work can help us appreciate their role in managing depression and improving mental health.